The Eclectic Paradigm, or OLI Framework, explores the key advantages that make a company multinational and allows it to compete in the global market. These advantages are ownership, location, and internalization. OLI Framework highlights how a company can achieve maximum profitability by investing directly in locations abroad. Let us explore the example of a company that is located in the United Kingdom and is considering its first foreign direct investment. So, we mark this company as headquarters on our map. Our company made its first foreign direct investment to the United States, so we mark it as OLI1 on our map. The second investment took place in Nigeria, so we mark it as OLI2 on our map. And the rest will follow with time. As we can see, there is a lot of different OLIs on our map. This illustration shows us that with time, multinationals invest in different locations, and every single investment is unique. It consists of a unique set of OLI advantages. So, for instance, OLI 1 is very different from OLI 8 or OLI 3. They are all unique. The combination of these OLI advantages is unique for every single investment. Now, it's time to put foreign direct investment motives on our map. Multinationals have different motivations to invest directly in markets abroad. These motives highlight what multinational wants to achieve in that specific location where they invest. Multinationals may simultaneously invest for a multitude of reasons. We can broadly identify four big boxes of foreign direct investment motives. Those are resource-seeking, market-seeking, efficiency-seeking, and strategic asset-seeking. This illustration shows us different colors representing different motives. For example, green can represent resource-seeking motive, orange – market-seeking, blue – efficiency-seeking, and pink – strategic asset-seeking. What is important to remember is that although OLI6 and OLI8 may have a similar market-seeking motive, meaning that our company invested in those two locations for market-seeking purposes, those two investments are still very different and unique because the combination of the OLI advantages for each of those investments is unique. By the way, those purple lines that connect our headquarters and investments in different locations represent the network of the multinational enterprise that we will explore in one of our next videos. I would like to conclude this video with a quote from the author of the OLI framework. It is the firm, rather than its products, that crosses international borders. It makes this competency the most costly to imitate. John Dunning Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this short video about OLI on the map. Stay tuned for more.